What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today we're talking about ratchet sets and Craftsman ratchet sets in particular. So I have basically a 30 year gap of ratchet sets in front of you right now. Uh, this set was bought around 1997, 98. Uh, this set was 2007, and this set was bought last week, 2019. Is it 2019? Yes, so uh, it's basically a 30-year gap is what we're doing here, and I want to see if it really has gone downhill like everybody claims when they shipped off to doing all of their all of their manufacturing uh, apex went ahead and uh, took everything to China and Thailand for for uh, a majority of the craftsman stuff so today we're gonna go over what differs between the three sets and if this one really is crappy since it was made in China or Taiwan so stay tuned all right guys let's get right down to it so the first set we are looking at is from 1997 um, what we're going to do is i'd like to measure the sidewall thickness of the socket so i'm going to pick the largest one uh, what i've done is went ahead and cleaned this one out in the parts washer so there wasn't a lot of stuff in it i'm going to show you some close-ups of uh, the the socket in general um, how well it's held up over the time and uh, we'll also go ahead and uh, measure the sidewall thickness here uh, to see exactly what we're looking at. Uh, we'll go ahead and put it in uh, millimeters. No, you know what? We'll stay imperial. Uh, this is 0 .063 inches. 0 .063 inches on this uh, this socket here. Now let's roll over to our 2007 set. Um, I've robbed a 17 from there. This one is. 0.073 inches, 0.073. So it did get thicker between that uh, that first 1997 socket set and the uh, 07. So in 10 years, they made them a little bit thicker. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. So one thing I will say about this case is it's a pain in the butt. Wow, make me look like a little girl on the camera. Thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and measure the thickness of this bad boy here. All right, so we're back to 0.063 inches. So it would be safe to assume that they're staying almost right on the money when it comes to um, the thickness and probably the same dies that they're they're punching these out of or machining them. Uh, they don't have tooling marks on them, so I assume they're um, they're cast or something. I'm not that experienced. One thing I do notice about these, uh, the newest set of Craftsmen, is they don't appear to be coated on the inside. So I'll roll in a picture here. The inside of the socket does not appear to be coated. Um, it's kind of weird looking. It kind of looks like it's already tarnished. Um, and it's like that on every single socket. Um, that's really not, uh, is it wipe off? I'm going to take it over to the parts washer and see if that's something that wipes off. Okay, now I've come back from the parts washer here, and uh, it seems that, yeah, it's legitimately not, um, it's not coated on the inside of the socket. Huh. So they definitely have a shortcut there. Um, they're definitely not uh, plating the entire thing. Um, like the other sockets, um, they at least have a coating. I'm not saying they're, they're chrome plated. Um, all the way through, but they definitely have a lot more uh, coating on the inside. So I, I do see that there. Um, as far as these older sets, um, the sockets pretty much stayed the same the entire time they were made in the U.S. So one of these is stamped U.S. The 1997 one is stamped USA. Um, this one is not. This could have been outsourced back in 2007. Um, and phased out, but it seems to be almost exactly the same the same ratchet. Um, this 2007 has a little uh, anvil punch to kind of uh, pop off your socket if you're having trouble there. Um, I, I do like about these is they're easily rebuildable. You can take them apart with the little e-clip inside, and um, you can you can clean them out and and rebuild them, uh, put new grease in them. Um, they're just slightly a different design in that 10 years. So the one from 97 is also a little bit longer. It's almost an inch longer 
than the one from 2007. Now we jump forward to the socket or the uh, ratchet. It was just bought. Um, this one also has an anvil punch, um, but it doesn't stick out at all, really. I mean, you push it all the way in, and there's no way that it's going to bump off um, bump off anything. It, it doesn't come out far enough. Uh, the engagement seems positive, but it, it, it feels really cheap. Um, the the anvil is is uh, not coated like the other ones. It's really got a matte finish. Um, it feels kind of um, like a lot more uh, ductile. It, maybe they heat treated it. Uh, you can just tell that you know it, it's it's a different process for sure. Um, this one is not rebuildable um, unless you can figure out how to take this thing apart. Um, I'm sure it does come apart and you can rebuild it. Maybe it's a one-time unit. I'm not sure. But they still come with the lifetime warranty. You can still take them into Lowe's. No questions asked. Somebody will uh, get you a new tool. Um, that's not bad. I, I can't complain about that. Um, now, since the local Sears is closed, you know, I had been basically stacking up my Craftsman stuff that I broke uh, to take in later. But uh, now that you can do it at Lowe's, it's been pretty convenient. Um, as far as when it comes to price comparison and how many how many things come in the kit, uh, this new kit from 2019 doesn't have a lot to offer whatsoever. They're all six point sockets. Um, they're all uh, just your standard sizes and metric and standard. Um, they come with you know I think it's what 22 pieces. So you know for the 40 bucks that I spent. They were normally fifty dollars. I spent on twenty-two pieces. Uh, usually, that would get you a lot more in the you know in the socket sets uh, in the past years with inflation and all the things of import them from overseas. I'm sure that's why it affects the price. So we figured out that basically all the sockets had almost the same sidewall thickness. The ratchet is definitely gone downhill. The coating on the new one has gone downhill. Um, and I would even go as far as saying this packaging has gone downhill. They do, they do uh, advertise that these clips come up on the side and you can stack the units on top of each other and clip them into each other. But how many ratchet sets are you carrying around? You're, you're really not. Um, th that means if you want to use those on, on the side, there is four clips on this thing, and they're not really easy to get off whatsoever. Um, you know, if you just kept the this ones on the side down, you're only using the two on the front, and it makes it decent. I do like the clear cover so you can see everything inside, but the kit from 97 already had that. You know, they, they had that clear cover, and you know, it's, it's not bad at all. One thing I did like about these older kits is that you could pull out the tray and reveal wrenches and uh, Allen wrenches underneath. So you had four wrenches and Allen wrenches down underneath this tray. Stuff doesn't come like that no, anymore. Um, it, it's really lacking. This one has a screwdriver in all the bits. It's got the little nut drivers to go in the screwdriver. You can't get a kit like this anymore um, without spending well over a hundred bucks. Um, and the kit that the, the one kit that Craftsman sells is $24.95 or $29. I'll roll it in here. It does have some of those accessories, but when you look at it, it only comes in standard or metric. You get one or the other. And I'm not spending $30 on a standard and $30 on a, on a metric. I'm $60 into a kit that seems to be lacking in the quality department. Um, one thing I didn't talk about, the extension. The extension doesn't have any knurling. I'm I'm not sure that Craftsman has ever done any knurling. Uh, the, all of their three-inch extensions don't have knurling on them. Um, the the universal joint seems to be just like any other cheap universal joint. It's you know it's about a 50/50 on whether or not this thing is going to hold up. You put some torque on it, it might blow up. So whatever I mean you get what you pay for so this thing does look like it has a lift out tray let's see what's underneath the lift out tray absolutely nothing so um, I'm not exactly sure why they went to the lift out tray in this 
Is it because they want to be like Milwaukee and be able to be put in the toolbox? Maybe. Um, but there's no reason for a lift out tray. Uh, you're kind of just trying to be, that's a second kind of cool that just isn't necessary. So am I happy that I bought this kit? No, I'm not happy at all that I bought this kit. So it does look like their quality has gone downhill since they've gone um, overseas or just since they've launched this new line. Um, you know, they went to Apex Tool Group in 2010 to go overseas with most of these socket sets, their ratchets, uh, and um, some of their wrenches, and it's, it's pretty much gone downhill. Um, I really, really wanted this to be a positive video, uh, and, and you say that, you know, they are just as good as they once were, but when you compare them side by side, you really see the difference of just the quality. Uh, the the quality on this on this uh, socket, yeah, these are laser engraved. It looks like um, they are nice and deep. I like how the numbers are a little bit bigger now. But as far as that goes, I mean, that that only gets you so far, you know. So the fit and finish is is definitely a five out of ten. Um, not coating the sockets all the way. That's a big thumbs down. Um, the ratchet kind of sucks. I give that a three out of ten, um, and, and the overall kit is probably a, a three or a four in my book. Uh, where I would put some of these other kits, at, you know, a seven or an eight based on you know stuff from, uh, you know, the the same kind of offerings. When you talk about you know Napa or you talk about um, uh, all the different lower tier kits, uh, I would put Milwaukee a step above where Craftsman's at. So. Uh, that kind of wraps that up. I'm really disappointed at, at the money I spent um, with this Craftsman kit. Might even return it. So uh, just giving you guys my two cents and my opinion on the whole thing. Um, if you like more stuff like this, you'd like to talk about more man stuff, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have your support. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. That was kind of a, a sideways thumb. They don't have one of those. Uh, but Interact with me in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, weigh in on uh, weigh in your opinion on this topic, and we'll talk about it. Um, as always, uh, I guess I got nothing else. So I'll see you guys on the next video.